I need you to be on your game today, Liza. And then raise your game several levels to my game. Do you think you can do that? Uh, just try to keep up. Oh my God, is that his? Don't wow. touch it. There is a uh, a small matter that I need to talk to you about. We know. We've seen that small. I, I don't know what to say. There's no need to explain yourself. I can assure you, we will get it off. Down. Down. Isn't that your ex? Oh, yeah, Josh. He's doing the adult coloring book for us. I, I, I didn't realize he was coming. Obviously, he's here to suck up to Charles and throw that willowy blonde in your face. Actually, I, um, I introduced them. You set him up with a girl and a job. Mm. Later, we have to have a talk about how not to be a doormat. Who says I love you in a text? What am I supposed to say back to that? I know. Thank you. That's an option. It doesn't cost anything to be polite, Liza. Your generation could learn that. Can I get you all a drink? Diana, are you sure? Bup, bup. Liza, I think I know when I've had enough. Kills? Glass of white wine, be great. How about vodka? Wine is for fat people. Okay, then. No idea what it's like to be single and in your 40s. It's like trying to rent out a beautiful apartment where a murder took place. Everyone's spooked. The reason Josh and I ended had absolutely nothing to do with Kelsey. Richard's ex-wife just walked in. What? Well, how do you know? Because I Facebook stalk her. Is that what you want to hear? Her name is Winnie. She also happens to be a therapist. Her best friend Cindy lives in Nyack. Well, we can leave if Don't you... Don't be ridiculous. We are not in high school. Should I introduce myself to her? No, I don't think so. I feel like I know her. You don't. Diana. No, I'm fine. Good luck. We are all begging for more cock. Uh, I mean, uh, Crown of Kings, of course, the C-O-K. Okay, I've never said that acronym out loud. I always just read it alone in my head. Ilia mia portato a casa uva passa, non è uva. Io sono uva. Un uva molto smolto su cosa. You speak Italian. I lived in Florence for a year. I studied art history. I still love walking up and down the Arno. I still remember the first phrase I learned. Non sono una putana. No, I am not a prostitute. <laughs> so, how old are you? Signora, non sono cavoli suoi. You've got the it factor. That is why I wanted to meet with you what Grace Coddington was to Vogue. Diana Trout could be too empirical. I mean, Yes, if I wanted that. Why wouldn't you want that? I could get your profile in W. I could get your reality show, a fragrance. We could call it Trout. Nix that, too fishy. Nope. I could even get you a man, Diana. Or a woman, I don't want to assume. I have a man. In fact, he's going to pick me up here in a few minutes. Unfortunately, the job you want doesn't exist. And while it is lovely to be called Diva, that's the only value add you bring to the table. Ouch, Diva. I like you, but I don't need to. You know, Liza, I take on many roles at this office, and one of those, if I'm not mistaken, is as a mentor. To you. Oh, yes, of course, definitely. Do you want my advice on your breakup? Sure. Invest in yourself. Put everything into your career. It'll pay off. Romance is incidental. But you work hard enough, and you will always have a job. Oh, OK. I guess. Well, maybe. Someday. I will join you at your power booth. Diana, if I have a power booth, you'll be the first person I invite. I'm so sorry, Diana. I, I know how much you cared for Richard, and I'm, I'm just so sorry that it happened right before you. Before I step onto the red carpet alone? I won the award, not him. Right. You know, before I met Richard, I was prepared to accept that this might be my life. No plus one, no one beaming like an idiot next to me in photographs, and I was okay with it then. And I am okay with it now. Ready? Is this okay? I, it's fine. I really have no gag reflex. Okay, open. 